to get testers for Braille C's. Now getting testers is uh, very simple. You just fill out an application, but don't apply. I want you guys not to apply if you're not here to test the game, okay? It's not a game that you play testing. We're going to be testing map issues, uh, glitches, and ultimately like everything in the game now how you we, we're doing testers is through discord applications we're gonna have waves of testers you don't need to buy the subscription to get tester if you're wondering subscription members do uh you guys do get the apps first to apply for testers and if you're a subscription member in the discord you're also going to get a rank to be able to test the game early once the initial waves of testers fix like help us come in and fix up uh rail C's. um i'm gonna be probably very active when it comes to testing i'm gonna be super mostly supervising all the testing you guys are probably gonna report all the bugs to the moderators which it's probably gonna go to me first so guys please take the testing seriously and don't mess around i know you guys want to play the game you guys are excited i'm excited too i'm probably more hyped for this game than you in the rail C's group we set up uh ranks for uh gold and silver now you have to in order to get those ranks uh, we're gonna have a system set up where you can ask like you can basically uh put in a ticket and then a moderator will rank you now we're looking to get a bot to auto rank people for now uh that's being worked on but at this moment we're gonna set up a ticket system so the moderators can rank you guys uh within the group lean your progression you you Mostly you will think about taking a quest, going to a spot, taking the same quest, going to that same spot over and over, multiple to like 20 times just to get to the next quest. All right, so linear progression is basically progression that makes you do the same thing over and over. That's a, that's the term on Roblox. Now we're gonna, now for RLCs, right? We wanna make it so that you can progress with anything. If you wanna go chop down trees to progress, go chop down trees. If you wanna go cook, go cook. If you wanna go fish, go fish. And that will all, affect your character in different ways overall Care. and it would just I, I would say it would just progress uh, <laughs> that's the main word progress i uh, i'm going to the shop right now to get the pick lock so i can show them like uh, one of the talents right so when do you think of pick uh when do you think of um progression right actually i could craft i can craft a, a pick lock but um, when you think of progression, you, you think of, oh, doing a quest and then you're beating a mob, right? Every thing in Rail Seas is a progression, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna pop my menu up in the screen. So, we have talents, right? So, fishing, woodcutting, cooking, mining, shipwright, uh, crafting, navigation, thiefing, right? Now, thiefing, we're gonna show you, uh, pick locking, a pick lock system. Now, thiefing in general, um, when we go next to the bigger crates, uh, like the more the the harder ones to unlock right you're gonna understand like it it's actually uh, like a little mini game that pops up right so, so it goes from easy medium and high right now let me put my volume up so you guys can hear some stuff <coughs> you have to listen to the sound and if you turn the wrong way your pick lock will break you see I'm turning the, the second one and then my pick, pick lock broke. You have to, you have to find the right direction for the pick lock to work, right? Uh, I'm gonna try again one more time. Okay. Okay. And I unlock a chest right there. Now, chest crates like there's different type of like. Uh, there, it's a little tricky how we're gonna do the thiefing system for chests. It's not just pick locking like these. I'm gonna just open these crates because um, they have uh, materials in it. It's because we don't have time to just go hunt all the like animals and all the creatures to get all the materials. I need to get some materials right away to show you guys uh, the crafting system and blueprints and all. So uh, let me just pick up everything. So um, we're gonna show you guys a little bit of the utility system, right? So you're gonna have a utility tool and in the utility tool, you're gonna have fishing rod, repair, uh, repair ships, uh, wood cutting, an axe for wood cutting and mining axe, okay? We're gonna show you the fishing system. Uh, ready?
Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Ah, uh, it's good. Nice, eh? Yeah, you, you could have fished anywhere else, you know? Hey, relax. Yeah, what you, would the cat something? Hey. You could have, have fished anywhere else. You had that it's entire a fish fishing. Don't worry about it. Oh fuck! Dude, I'm. Oh my! Alright, I lost my mini game. I caught my fish. All right, I got. I, I gotta got catch a fish. <laughs> Alright, wait, wait. I gotta catch a fish. So, um, in order to, so, uh, what we're showing you guys is raw. Like this is actually progression in the game. You don't have to go beat mobs. You fish. You level up. You see the level over, over your head. Okay, hold on. Okay. No, 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 no. Hey man, I think you might have to come on my computer. Just spin him, boss around you, baby. Yeah, no. But okay, so I caught a fish. Let's go, baby. All right, so uh, we'll show you guys the cooking system later. All right, so uh, not just that, you know how we just showed you guys the fishing rods and the little sne uh, sneak peek of the fishing. System? So not just that, right? Um, you showed them these stats and the goos and all that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, yeah. So health endurance. Uh, none of this levels your attack power or any of that. So if you guys are wondering, uh, we're gonna go over stats in a, in the second series. Uh, this is like a, a three-part movie series, like how we did Shinobi Life uh, Two. Uh, we'll go over all that stat stuff later. We want to just like you can see the rep the character grade character reputation. Um, in this video, we're not gonna show you guys that. We're gonna go over that in another video. All right, ready? Uh, anyways, so not just that, you guys can also upgrade your current utility tools if you go to the shop. So right now we're at tier 0 fishing. Over here, there's tier 1 fishing, there's tier 2 fishing, and there's tier 3. The more uh, the more tiers you go up, the I guess the rarer the fish you catch and the better meals you can cook. Cooking big plates of food, uh, when we uh, go over the cooking system with a little snippet of that, cooking big plates of food gives you massive... Uh, uh, progression basically you don't like this is another form of progression you don't have to go and hunt down mobs hunt down wildlife and do that every single time I mean, you I can mean, do whatever you want if you really think about that okay so if you guys are wondering what the what's the reason for mobs what's the reason for all like all that if you guys it, isn't it obvious the crafting right the reason that uh you have so much material we like the reason that we showed you guys crafting is because this game was gonna be mainly um Mainly not a crafting game, but kind of like you create stuff, right? And we're gonna show you guys blueprints uh, well, After all this, all right, uh, do you want to go over the black blacksmithing? Oh, yeah, blacksmithing. Okay So this right here is a blacksmith uh, You can upgrade your current clothing. You, you can literally upgrade your clothing. You can add enchantments to your weapons and mm -hmm. Yeah, you, uh, let me see click on a weapon Basically, like, you just see stone and snakes too, right? There's Every time you upgrade your uh, weapon, it's, it's going to require different materials. That's, you have to, like, literally explore around the game to find. It's not, it's not always going to be the same materials. Like, there's snake too and sea stone. All right, you, you go, you find out where those materials are. It randomizes again. Maybe you have to go get uh, a bear claw or something else. Maybe a T-Rex too. And that's a, and this, you can upgrade your uh, weapon about 20 times. Now below that you have the fire enchantment, you have the ice enchantment, poison enchantment, lightning enchantment, and you have the sea stone enchantment. Now those are also going to give your weapons buffs as well. Uh, we will go over that when we finish it in the next video. Okay, Look, come on. Oh, we got to show them all the animations too. <laughs> they just saw oh, a little yeah, sneak yeah. peek. <laughs> oh, look at that. But you guys want to see some cool animations? Uh, after, after, okay? So, um, now we're gonna show you guys blueprints. Now, blueprints... Blueprints are... Drops for anything, but mainly what drops blueprints is CBs, um... Anything that requires, like, if you, like, ship materials, like, if you fight someone that has a really cool ship, or, like, say, Alucard, uh, you get, like, dragon wings on your ship. I'm just gonna pick up all the, the blueprints right now, so... Um, you guys can see what I'm talking about. So when you pick up blueprints, right, it's gonna be... It's gonna have this image icon. And um, now blueprints, even though we have them list over here, you get these from exploring the entire game and what they are. 
right? I'm gonna open my inventory now, guys. Blueprints help you craft unique items within the game. Either that be armor, um, food, uh, upgrade your weapons. Uh, there's everything is hidden in blueprints and exploration. Uh, obviously, like all these cool sea kings and stuff, they drop materials and blueprints as well. And what you don't just auto spawn with crafting recipes. You go, you adventure, you explore, you get blueprints. Uh, you basically learn the game, man. You see, they take materials in order to learn how to craft. Yeah. Okay. Now back on the idea of progression, right? Blueprints is like kind of like the way our game progresses. Uh, kinda, not sorta. It's um, you can become. I'll just put a story scenario, like just a hypothetical in your head. If you wanted to become a five-star chef in Real Seas and open up a restaurant on your boat, that's possible. Um, actually, we're gonna show you guys the boat system. Um, we're not done with the furniture place system for the boats, but uh, if you wanted to open up a restaurant on your boat uh, in Real Seas and just be a someone that has all the recipes in game which i highly doubt that you won't be able to collect all the cooking recipes because it's impossible because i've hidden things in relsies and we plan to hide little clues in relsies but if you want to open up a, a restaurant in relsies in a way you can with your boat i'm just putting a hypothetical situation in your head okay uh and that's if you're thinking yes that is progression in relsies you level from doing things like that another form of progression <laughs> basically this will kind of work like the cooking where you sit up on your ships uh, but this form of progression is called selling <laughs> basically Dude. you can drop any, uh, a bunch of things into this bag right here wait what are you talking uh yeah 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 so you can be a whole merchant huh yeah you can basically be a whole entire merchant and basically if someone buys it you basically progress with your character you can literally go around collecting uh well the rarest uh, materials or whatever, and you can drop it and sell it to players uh, for value, basically. There's gonna be a whole market system coming in uh, what's called in this game. Uh, are you in my bag? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, no, you can pick it back up. Uh, Take this shit away. I'm not paying $44 for some clothes. I think this is. You just see, walk right away now, and it disappears. Yeah, right now I'm a brokey, you know what I'm saying? Oh, and um, before we leave you guys, we wanna show you like the different type of chests in Real Series. Um, so there's this cool one, you know what I'm saying? We just want to show you guys all the chesses in Real Seas. It's a, it's a lot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a free cam. I think um, we have over a hundred something materials for dropping as well to craft. Things, so. Love and, that exploration. Yeah. And um, there. How many clothes do we have in real seas actually? Dude, we have almost <laughs> like 90, 90, 90 plus. Well, it's going over 100 as soon as the, uh, the rest of the clone is finished. It's going over 100. So that's 90 plus armors to craft. Just think about that. Yeah. Not, not including the marine. Oh, we didn't even show them the marine, marine um, clothing. Oh, so yeah, he's already an admiral, but we'll show you how to become a marine in the game as well. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, wait, come on. Now, um, this over here, uh, we just put this over here. This is going to be uh, where you purchase mounts. But obviously, you're not going to purchase this from here, right? We're just going to... Okay. Okay, so I'm going to... I'll just pick up... Uh, so you pick up some mounts, I'll pick up some mounts. Hey, man. Why you punch me, man? And uh, let's show them how you call mount. Oh, let me, let me show you guys. We were talking about clothing. I want to show you guys how you can color your clothes. So you can go from your crew colors and your custom colors. Oh, oh, should we show them the crew creation now? Or should we? No, that's actually in a, another scene. We'll show you guys in another scene. So you can click custom colors and you color your panel like color one, two, three, four. And then you can apply those custom colors to your your um, uniform. Uh, I'm going to show you how you call mounts, etc. So uh, uh, let me do let me do my nine tails. You know what I'm saying? I'm behind you. Hey, buddy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, no, I was stuck on the crate. I would fix the collisions on the, uh, the mounts.
Hey, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna despawn him. Alright. Uh, should we just showcase all the mounts right now? <laughs> uh, we could. Uh, let's let's go somewhere else that isn't crowded there. Yeah. Like over here. Oh, and we have to showcase the combat system. Uh, we're not gonna show it here. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Yeah, just call, just spawn all the mounts, honestly. On this puppy. <laughs> you know, impel down boss mount right here, you know? <laughs> impel down boss mount. Oh, wait, are we gonna show them the impel down jail system? Or, or at least the jail, let's show them the jail system before we even show them all that because, oh, we, we need to talk about the jail system because there's levels to the jail system as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They're like levels, uh, not like level one, two, three, four. No, there's like levels as in, um... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is some Batman shit, look at this. Oh, man. Batmobile, come to me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm gonna take your mount. <laughs> hey, hey, Jit! Uh, I can't just want it because you're on my mount. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you can steal someone's mount. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, yeah. oh, but you can also, uh, uh, what's it called? Kill someone's mount as well. You want, you want to kill You want to kill this Angus stick right here? Uh, actually, let's run to it. Let's run to it. Right, you want so, to go down the mount? Let's go down the mount. Okay, okay. I call nine tails. Uh, I call the uh, giant groom. Alright, so this part of the video, guys, uh, we're gonna speed ahead to the ruins. So. Hey, man. Why are your wolf so big, boy? Oh. How many how many islands are we showing them? Uh like three. And are we showing them like uh mounts uh uh like how to attack with mounts and all that? Or is it not done? Uh it's not done, it's not done. Okay. Alright. Get off uh, Mr. Whiskers over here. Oh, we're not going there yet. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, so... Ooh, um, the NPC didn't load. I look, right, that, that's your best friend. part of the NPC folder. Oh, yeah. So, uh, in this segment, guys, we forgot to uh, fix a bug. So, uh, just give us a second. But look, it's a deer over there. Wait, slap that deer again. Make it run away. Yeah, yeah, run. <laughs> we got a rig coil. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey uh, by the uh, way, in Relsies, we don't condone like animal abuse. I'm not laughing. I'm not a sicko, okay? I just think it's funny though. with there runs every time you slap its ass. We don't condone any animal abuse here. Oh, I'm still gonna use the dagger. How, how many weapons do you want me to showcase, actually? Uh, let's showcase at least all of them. All, all of them? Dude, that, yeah. that, that's gonna take very. Yeah, what? Does a T Rex spawn? <laughs> uh, technical difficulties again. Um,. We try to come back to the spot, but we forgot that wildlife spawn over here. Uh, so, um, we're gonna have to kill that T-Rex. I'm gonna show you guys uh, some combat improvements and what we changed uh, since the dawn of the Rail Seas combat, you know what I'm saying? So, beforehand, I'm gonna show you guys uh, the dashing. Now, dashing, it's been changed. And the maneuver has been changed. Now, the next thing that's been changed is Gepo. Gepo is now like camera base. You can go up, down instead of it forcing you to go up, okay? And yes, it still does go up if you don't move. If you move, you can move towards the direction. Now, the reason for that is because um, I'm gonna show you why. Alright, wait, stand still real quick. The reason for Gepo change, so you can kick them up. And sorry, oh shit. Alright, so the reason for Gepo's change. The reason for Gepo's change is for the ladder combat system. Uh, so it, it's like, instead of it, you, you instead of you having the force to go upwards, you can now jump towards someone like this. Boom, boom, boom. And I want to show you guys something cool with Q specs too. Now, right? So another combat in thing that we added is um, execution, right? So it's like a sneaking tactic. It's mainly for NPCs, but you can do it on players as well. So you can sneak up behind them and execute them from behind. 
All right, so remember, Dahlia's have shorter range, Katana's have medium range, and Heavy Swords have long range. My bro's gonna show you like a base ladder system with uh, long range Q specs. All right, ready? Now, obviously I can parry this as well, and I can, uh, I can, uh, I just almost wait, waste my evade actually. All right, ready? So um, now we're gonna show you guys the parry, which is right click. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna attack you and you parry. Okay, ready? Set, go. Now there's a yeah, you can parry with the Q as well, but uh, you built you build up the Q parry from being from attacking people, um, and. Uh, I think we already explained all this. I don't think we have to go over it. We just changed the controls of the the left click and right click. So uh, attack me. This is another way you can parry. Ready? Go ahead. So you can time your parry within um, while you're blocking, right? So there's obviously like a delay to when you can parry as well. All right, ready? Attack. For example. And parrying, um, the right click parry is never going to be like a follow up. Like you won't, it, it's not going to just like stun the character. It's always going to be a knockback. Uh, the Q spec parry is always going to be like a follow up. So, um, it reward. Okay, so the Q spec parry rewards people that do damage on the other person, right? So that's why you're allowed to parry that way. But the other parry um, is basically like a knockback parry. That that's the parry. Right, so uh q specs got changed daggers do multiple hits now and uh we also changed how the movement works as well it's not gonna be uh it's, it's more perfect i would say uh for uh distance calculation it will always go to the same amount of distance and roblox uh physics won't mess it up so that's a heavy spec heavy specs obviously go more far now let me get the gravity cane no, no, just the can, the gravity can. All right, so this is the gravity cane. I see it's a medium range. That's gonna be a long range type of weapon right there, what he's holding, the dark soul blade. Oh yeah, that does two hits, right? Yeah. How many blocks? First one's a block break and the second one's a combo extend. So certain weapons will have like their own custom uh, Q specs. Uh, Not just me... that, you can now combo extend. With the Q specs as well. It depends what right, ladder. That's, that's... Yeah, you're, you need to explain like, explain like, um, it depends on the ladder that they choose too. Like if they choose that down kick ladder. Yeah. Yeah. So, first you want to M1 and you can Q straight after to bring that back down. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let me let me show them some of the, the takeout. Like, let, let me show them some, some of the animations, you know what I'm saying? The animations, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> let me, let me take out a gun, let me take out a gun, let me take out a gun. <laughs> you know, the, the, the first movie, not so big on animations, but... Um, this big on animation, you know what I'm saying? execution of this one
Okay, so I want to show you guys like uh, a concept called quick draw. So it's like switching between weapons mid combat. As you saw, hold on, let me let me do it with the gun, and then I'll try to ladder combo with it. Oh, you fucking! <laughs> I kicked the oven into the ceiling. All right, ready? Come here. <laughs> Okay, so you guys want to know something cool? You see how the water is not moving? Um, now we have it. Uh, we just did this to show you guys. The, uh, even though we have messed up, like mesh deformation water, that's like a. Uh, right now, if you're too, if you're far away, it changes r back to a part, right? So um, I'm just gonna skydive down, and the water will change to a mesh deformation water. Now we're working on it, making it more seamless because um, it's changing. Oh, God, there's a bear in the water. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I'm Pretty not good. gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna show that. Uh, you know, I'm gonna leave that in the video because it's kind of funny. <laughs> um, but the mesh deformation water. Um, we'll show you guys like waves and the whirlpools and all that. But we're gonna we're we're gonna show you cooking first. I think my bro already crafted a cooking pot. Now, it's not going to just require wood to craft a cooking pot. Obviously, it's going to require iron, uh, which you mine uh, for it. So, um, I'm going to cook now. So, I don't have any... You see, I don't have any blueprints, like blueprint uh, recipes to... to basically, like, craft, like, a meal, but I can cook the fish, you know what I'm saying? All right, uh, do you have anything to cook? I want to see it from uh, your perspective. I don't think I saw, uh, got to show them the animations. There we go. How much you put in the cook? Uh, I can only put two things in this small cooking pot. Oh, and Different. yeah, yeah. There is also um, on your ships you can put um, cook not just cooking pots like these, but like actual stoves on your ship, and. Um, here, let me pick lock the the locks over here so you can get the um the blueprints. Okay, lock number one done. So this is basically um this over here is in-game crews that you 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 basically like kill um people like uh npcs and you unlock crews but for now we're just gonna put it in here we'll, we'll show you guys they're like crews that uh like co-captain that you add onto your ship and these blueprints are figureheads and um not just figureheads right so you see how this one says uh what's it called alucard wings over here so you fight alucard um uh, uh what was the place called again Trillo. Oh, wait, and Rillabark. <laughs> yeah, Rillabark. Yeah, I, I, I didn't want to call it Trillabark because, you know. No, Trillabark, yeah. Trillabark. Yeah, oh, oh, all right. So, you fight, <laughs> you fight Alucard at Trillabark, and then you get these uh, uh, Wingcraft. And then, there's also different type of cannons as well that you will unlock in-game. So, you ready to show them the... Let's show them the crew system before, right? Yeah. Now, in the beginning of the video, I mentioned to you guys that there are such things as crew colors, right? Now you create a crew, so we're going to show you the crew creator. Now the crew creator, you're going to be able to input your own logo if you wanted to, right? The logo ID, but uh, for the audience that don't know how to create a logo, we actually created a bunch of um, items for you to customize each, uh, your own crew logo, right? And you're the, if once you create a crew, right, your entire crew, the name of the crew cannot be taken in game. So if I put Rel, my bro can't take that crew name, right? Obviously. So there's different type of skulls that you pick from, right? And then from that skull, uh, that you, there's about 59 accessories that you can equip onto um, your crew. So the first one, uh, I'm gonna just put this, and it's really it's really unique. Like you can create like anything with your um, with your crew. Like if you wanted this, and you can adjust the colors as well, as well. So. Let me do like, maybe I'll do a grayish. 
and then from here you see this this is called crew colors right now you can pick your crew colors uh, like any crew color this is for the uniform right uh, crew color affects your clothes your pants your shirts so if I want to do like a, a gray shirt maybe I'll just do white I'll do even more like a lighter gray I'll do like even a dark you know some edgy stuff right I'll click complete right Yo, you took rail. <laughs> this guy rushed fast and took rail. All right, rail bad. All right, my crew is real bad. Now, uh, I'm gonna re-equip my shirt if I can find it. Actually, oh, uh, I forgot to showcase this. You yeah, can just press real. this. Yeah, you can just press this, guys, and then you can uh, literally see anything other than the first ten keys, which is the first ten keys is always gonna be your uh, your keys over here. All right, equip. Um, now. Crew colors, right? I can apply my crew colors to my uh, my uniform. Crew colors, uh, boots, crew colors. Now uh, th that's like the first way of changing uh, your uniforms, and the second way is custom colors, which we allow a, a more deeper. I'm not sure if we use the the color wheel for the last one, but uh, it's you know if you want two different colors instead of just like using your crew colors or you know uh, all that. Oh, I just took my pants off. <laughs> Alright. As you see, you don't see the ship uh, um, button loaded in yet, right? So I'm going to show you guys how to actually open up your ship inventory. So you actually go out to a docks or any place that has open wise. You press M. You turn your back and wait for that boat you out on the top right next to the smiley face emoji. And you click... Oh, that's the coin. That's the real coin. <laughs> the real coin. Yeah. It's really right. You click the boat, and then this pops up. This is how you start customizing your own ship. Now, this is... Oh, well, we wasn't supposed to press galleon yet. Let's, let's slow down there, buddy. <laughs> All right, so this is how you customize your own ship. So there's three ship types in game right now. There's the sloop. There's the caravel. Now, the caravel, the cannon counts, they, they all matter. They all matter. The, which part you choose and how, like... There's different play styles when it comes oh, to ship. Oh, dude, the ship stats not showing the uh, the amount of stuff. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No, no, we'll finish out later. We'll finish out later. Oh, yeah. But it all, it all like... Oh, you just threw me out, dude. What the hell? <laughs> all right, go, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, uh, you talk. You talk. So, the caravel, right? Uh, remember, the, you can literally create different attack types for your ships. This is the Galleon. The Galleon is one of the biggest uh, ships in the game right now. It's the size of a Marine, almost the size of a Marine warships. Marine warships are huge. You'll see that later in today's video. But it, uh, ch change your front, uh, your front part. I'll change it and I'll sloop. I'll go slow. I'll go slow, right? So yeah. So you have different front parts, right? Now, some front parts have cannons on them as well. They all, like, you see the ship stats right there. Um, when we finish the ship stats, uh, it, it literally, like, you can build different, like, look at this uh, ship part. You can build different types of ships and have different types of, like, let's say you're more defensive, you can uh, build a ship that has more defense stats. If you're more attack, you can build a ship with more cannons. If you want to ram people, you can you can equip rams onto your ships. Like, you can create ships in, a hub, like, however you want, basically. Now, um, blueprints also as well come in and the skill ship right also comes in for customizing and building ships. Now for furniture placing, you're going to, we're going to have a system. We have a free cam system set up. Uh, we're going to have it set up so you can place like furniture around. So you can choose like from different rears. So this is rear one. I just want to show you guys like, like it's different rears, right? Rear one, rear two, rear three, rear four rear five and they have different ship cannon counts different they have different speed different turn speed um it just it doesn't show in the ui yet but all the stats is in right now we just didn't show it in the ui yet uh now that's rear six now we're, we're just gonna go like we're gonna go to a carnival right now you can change your middle part the deck part right it's called deck we'll just go through all the decks right and you can even f uh change your flag types Let's do like maybe a, like this, and then when you change your boat as well, middle middle like this middle over here. Now there's also materials and color, right? So what's the difference, right? Color is just to change the color of it. Now the materials, like you see how it's all wooden right now. You can add iron onto your boat and turn it into like a steam powered boat. 
um and you also have parts that you can add on for engine parts right you see this icon over here this is an engine part um should i craft the engine part right now and show them i'm gonna just start with the sloops because it's getting like a little out of hand because i feel like a lot of people would be like so confused like what the hell you know yeah all right so i'm gonna just put on like uh this rear right um let me change the the back flag yeah i'll change it to, like, there okay so, so you can craft all yeah you can craft the steam oh uh, steam engine craft hey why, why is it this icon what the hell yeah, the image now that i crafted the steam engine right i can put a steam engine onto the back of the boat right and it fits on every single back and attaches to every single back right so like if i put it on this rear this rear and now if i wanted to put like a figurehead on my boat right Let's just say I wanted to put this crew, like, because I crafted this, right? I can put that on the boat as well. Uh, let, let's just change some of the colors. Alright. I do. You want to continue talking? Oh, yeah. Alright. So, you have the coloring and materials. My bro I'm better already running over the materials. So, the coloring system, you can, uh, we, we don't want funny looking ships. We don't want, like, bright neon looking ships. So we we actually give you a color palette that you can choose from. Uh, it's it's still as good as the as the color wheel, but it's more controlled, I would say. Yeah. And uh, the ships could turn out real uh, looking pretty good. I I like I like the brown. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I like yeah, the dark ships. Is, uh, you know what I'm saying? Brown ships is built different. But with different materials, the other colors are pop on. Yeah. All right. Now time for the the crews. No, 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 no. Should I equip a crewmate? Uh, yeah, you can equip crewmates, but they don't load in dead. It's when you spawn your ship. Yeah, I know. Um, which one was show, the? Show them the, uh, huh? Show them the uh, Alucard. Uh, what's it called? Uh, oh, Alucard wing. wings. All right. All right. I showed him how you can switch out a cannon too. You have the basic cannon right now. Alright, all right. give me a second. the burst cannon and the heavy cannon. We need a notification um, for when you craft. Yeah. Alright, so I'll do the heavy cannon. So, yeah, show them. So that's the heavy cannon. Is a burst cannon? <laughs> Machine gun, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Cannon. And also, when you defeat bosses, they can drop blueprints, right? I'm gonna show you guys. They drop blueprints to, and when you, they drop blueprints, these type of wings, um, can also increase like your turn speed, your 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 overall speed, uh, they, some change like uh your ram strength and all as well. So I'm gonna go back to um the storage so I can craft another wing. Let me craft this one. This so when you defeat a sea serpent, you're gonna get like a a drop called sea serpent uh wing craft right, and once you do that, hold on, let me get back to the boat menu. Get the sea serpent wing. Clean it. Yeah. Okay. Rich. All right. Let they me let me care build. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, these people ain't ready for real seas, man. <laughs> Hold on. You can literally live on your ships. Yeah. Now, uh, I think we mentioned this a bunch of times. We're not fully done with the furniture placement. Uh, where, like when you go inside, you can literally go. There's different floors in your ships, right? So I'm gonna put your like. Should I put a one with a door? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nah, 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 nah. Let, let's just show. I like the open. I like the open. You know what I'm saying? CFT's vibe. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. You ready to spawn that ship? Uh, to spawn a ship, right? You basically take out the bottle. But oh, wait, wait. All right. Yeah. Uh, to spawn a ship, right? You basically take out the bottle. Now you can place your ship anywhere in the proximity of where your mouse is. There is a control distance. All right, now click. A whirlpool forms, and then your ship pops up. Man, that ship just knocked me in my face, man. All right. Here, so uh, this you. This your crew. You guys know how I equipped like a crew on? This is my crew that I equipped on. Can we tell them how to get crews? um yeah actually not I, do you, I think i mentioned it where they um it's like events the anchor system uh you can anchor your ships so when anchoring your ships uh look at the anvil yeah when anchoring the, your ships uh you basically can lock your ship for so other players cannot steal your ship you you every time you stop at an island 
like you know that you know players are gonna be there you're you're bounty hunting you're doing whatever you, uh, whatever you want you want to anchor your ships especially if, if you have a pimped out ship because if someone takes your ship you can't despawn your ship <laughs> you're gonna have to find that player who took your ship <laughs> yeah Yo, how are they gonna find a player who's stuck in island <laughs> hey that's why you have friends <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah that's like yeah, yeah make sure someone's watching your ship like just put put let let one of your friends watch your ships because also you know, just make sure you anchor your ships that's all <laughs> now you guys are wondering why your movements is a little funny on ship right now a majority of roblox game even the best ones they don't have ship combat right and we created like a custom ship combat while you're on a moving go look at any game on roblox right no game on roblox has like combat on moving slightly had to remove my crew because while we were fighting um i punch uh like my bro punched a crew remember it's like it's a little okay so when it's like overcrowded yeah it's hard to have fights on moving ships but we want to just show you that we made a system that you can actually um fight on moving ships so Here, hold on. i'm gonna just anchor it one more i'm gonna turn it around should have picked the smaller ship you know <laughs> all right Oh no, it's good, it's good, it's good. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let the ship sail, right? Now check this out. I can hit him while hey, you might not think that's impressive, but look at that. We can literally M1 combat on ships. Obviously, I knocked him off, but the reason that we have funky movement on ships, right? Hey, let me stop the ship real quick. Like. I, if you go to any developer, I know this is probably if, if you're not like a coder or a scripter This is probably very impressive to developers that don't know how to do this, you know, because you know the real brothers just you know built different but Basically like if you look at any any game with chips, right? Uh, should we even mention I don't I don't want to mention anyone but the there's a paid access game with chips and literally You can't fight on it. Trust me They're like they don't have combat their combat system set up to ships and Relsi's combat is just built different, you know what I'm saying? So ready? I just uh, Yeah, I just want to show you guys some base uh base movements. Like look, you're jumping, Gepo, you're following the ship while you're gepoing in the air. Like I don't think you guys understand, right? Jump, look, look at that. Now, it's a custom movement system, right? It's like we, uh, yo, yeah, you, uh, block. You explain it because you're the scripter. <laughs> uh, so basically, um, your your basically your body is basically stuck onto the ship. It's not it's not wielded, but it's like it moves with the ship. It moves with the physics. This is custom physics for the ships as well. It this took uh, oh, I would say this took a quite a a lot of time to improve upon uh, to make it work with the. All right, now Relsi's combat system. It, it's top tier right and making this work on a boat it, it, just, just try to imagine that right just just try to imagine that uh now we're, we're talking about the player combat system right let's talk about cannon cannon combat right people so guys uh as you guys know we have mesh formation water and we fully optimize this for a mobile and xbox now yes i did test this i tested this on my old iphone 7 uh which i turned on it runs pretty uh it runs pretty fine for our old phone not to mention like i i, I don't know it just runs really good not just that we have different zones uh like since we're talking about the mesh information water we have different zones we have we have a tsunami zone where you have big waves if you're in that zone your ship will get damaged over time now you want to stay away from tsunami zones i would say every time a sea uh beast or sea king spawns it will probably turn into a very dangerous place like a tsunami zone or it will probably turn into a stormy zone. Stormy zones are another, uh, they're, they're not as bad, but that's where waves start forming all that stuff. Uh, then you have sinkholes. Sinkholes, you wanna stay away from them permanently. If you get stuck in a sinkhole, your ship automatically dies. You wanna, you can sail around the sinkhole. It's not, you know, it's it's all, it's obviously avoidable, but to a certain extent, it will pull in your ship little by little, and you may not notice it when you, either you're finding hey a crack in. I, I just need, I think we're getting, yo, I, I feel like we have to showcase that in a second movie or a video, because <laughs> it's about to be 60 minutes. 
Yeah, 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 okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, I wasn't even done talking. What about the jail system? Yo, we didn't even talk, show them the jail system yet. So, come on, let's, um, you want to spawn your ship? Oh, shit, there's, there's snakes over here. Snakes on planes. Spawn your ships. Uh, they're attacking. Yeah, they're, they're trying to attack you. Get those snakes uh, out I'm of here. I'm spawn my ship and we move away from this area. Oh, um, sh should I get jailed? Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, if you want to go back to your tongue. Uh, Actually, let me show them um, cannons real quick, right? Now, Actually, a... when you have NPC crews, right? They like, all right, um, our inspirations from from uh, Assassin's Creed Black Flag, right? <laughs> I just saw you fly. <laughs> hey man, oh, don't yeah. show that. Don't, don't show them that. That's a developer power right there. Now, oh. our. Yes, uh, oh man, you, you're flying just messed up my entire thing. Okay, so our inspiration is from Assassin's Creed Black Frag, and uh, now we want to re reiterate this to you guys, right? Devil Fruits will never be as strong as as uh, boats, okay? Boat cannons, because you can upgrade the cannonballs, you can get different type of cannonballs, you can upgrade the cannons, and we never ever want a devil fruit to overpower like a boat combat I, I know it might not make sense to some of you guys because you see all these devil fruits in the show but in real seas we never want devil fruits to be the main form of travel the main uh form of sea combat because that would absolutely like, like in our vision if we ever do something like that i feel like it would ruin real seas and we're never going to even go to the extent where um you can travel without a boat because at the end of the day we're trying to keep this into a pirate game do you guys see the feeling you're feeling right now right we want to keep that feeling for rel seas of literally the, that you know all this work did not go into vain later down in the game for some devil fruit to come in and just you travel from island to island and you know you just fly around and attack ships and all that like, we don't we never want that all right we i, I want to just make that clear to you guys we're looking to make for uh, boat combat actually matter now um now how the aiming system works you have to aim up obviously like see if these black flag this is just for a one player cannon if you have basically you can equip like a crew and they'll do this for you you don't have to do this yourself or you don't have to get other players to come on your crew to do this um how you can fire uh ship cannons is this way right so left cannons um uh, no, le left cannons, right cannons, back cannon, and if you have front cannon, you can aim to the front. So I'm going to show you guys just, uh, for example. Do you have any front cannons? No, no, no front cannons. Now you say, like you get the base concept of how cannon fire works. Are you ready to do a uh, combat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's bomb the ship. Um, do we have any? Uh, is there? Did you put any um crews that we can go fight, or do you want to fight each other? Uh, no, I've, I've implemented crews after this. Okay, ready? Hey man, you have a better pinto ship. Hey man, it's whatever, man. All right. Uh, let's, let's sell more into DC. Actually, um, before we even do ship combat, do you want to explain how it works? What do you mean? Oh, should I ram you as well? <laughs> hey, chill, 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 chill. Why? <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man. Look at your tiny little ship. Come here, buddy. <laughs> Why are you sailing so fast? <laughs> Yo, this guy me. got this guy got ship. Yo, listen, he has a ship boost. Like that's why he sails so fast. Remember how you guys can see the the cannon, right? This guy act. <laughs> this guy actually like has like a faster ship. So that's the difference from having you know like a heavy ram ship to a fucking fast ship. All right. Oh, sorry for for Kirsten. By the way, I I that completely slip. If anyone is younger or watching. All right. So do you wanna? Oh, uh, let's. I, Okay, attack me and then uh, explain the ship combat. I'm gonna just turn off my cannons. So guys, ship ship cannons are obviously like gonna have a delay to them because they fire over time. So when, when, for ship combat, right? This if you ever play games like Sea of Thieves or 
Oh, dude, you don't, you don't have to go. But if you ever play games like CFTs or Black Flags, you will understand how ships actually work. Uh, so if you want to actually fire at someone, you actually want to tilt a little bit and fire. Always keep, and you see those hit markers right there. Those hit markers are very important. You want to keep hitting those same spots. See if I can, oh my God. Oh wait, uh, can I explain the uh, hit hit point system? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Uh, stop selling, stop selling, stop selling. Cause it's gonna be too hard to hit the same point. Yeah. So, guys, you want to always hit at the same point. You see, like he has a yellow tag right there. Let me uh, position my ship. I can't really hit see it. it on my ship, but you can, he can see it. All right, there it is. No, you have the orange tag. No, these are basically damage multipliers. Uh, they actually multiply your damage. This is pretty OP. That's why you want to keep aiming for those same spots. You basically create weak points on the user's ships, basically. Hey, man. Stop hitting my ship, man. So yellow is uh, one multiplier. Orange is two multipliers. And then you have the th uh, the third multiplier, which is the red one, hey, as man. you see on the ship. Hey, man. So you do three times damage if you keep hitting that point. Now, I say this is probably one of the best ship, uh, systems I've seen on this plow. <laughs> like, I'm not even capping. This is probably one of the best ship systems and best ship combat ideas I've seen so far. That I've made. I made right. that shit. I, I made, made it. it. <laughs> okay. you, you seen it, but you made it. You know what I'm saying? How, how you seen it if you made it, right? Because no one is as... As... Uh, no, never mind. I'm not going to say that. Hey, man. Hey, man. No one is as... Relax, man. Alright, alright, alright. I'm going to... Uh, oh, no. I killed your ship. I killed... Uh, oh, my God. Yo. <laughs> Yo. Yo. God, this thing's going to kill my ship. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> dude, help! I can't do anything. You fucking sink me. Dude, no, I'm a <laughs> hey, yo, 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 yo. Dude, what? The <laughs> right, yeah, come, 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 come. <laughs> All right, so we didn't want to show you guys the cracking because um, the sound effects where it's not done, it makes it a lot like it, the experience where it makes it a lot better. We'll just leave that clip in where we were actually going to edit that out, but we'll leave it in for you guys. We were just trying to showcase the ship combat. Now, the next thing on our list is we want to showcase uh, the jail system. Now, there's levels to a jail system, right? You'll get put into camps. Uh, I mean, you get put into prison. Um, wait, I, this is not. Okay, wait, wait, listen, listen. Listen, listen. Don't cancel me. I'm oh, kidding. So you get put into pri uh, prison camps, um, and then you mine. Then there's a second level. Um, do you want to tell them the second level? So there's three levels, right? First, you have the waiting. Then you have the mining. And then you have impelled. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's Imp go do the mining. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now, attacking uh, NPCs in the game, can they alert the Marines. Now, these are, they're supposed to have voice lines, etc., right? Now, these are not just random mobs that you attack. These are like the towns people, right? And they give you like, they give you missions and all, right? So I'll, I'll just attack a Marine right away. Hold on, let me take a, attack a mob. Let, let's see. Should I attack these two weirdos over? Uh, what the hell is this weirdo doing? doing? What is this guy? Okay, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm not, oh wait, every That's single NPC is one top. Oh look, look, see, look, the, he's... Uh, the almost run. Taking inspiration from Assassin's Creed, right? You're gonna be able to dive into bushes, uh, and most mobs are are one tapped. Okay, so like you'll you can literally one tap. Oh, okay, yeah, they're coming. <laughs> they went out there. Even though I did. Uh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Yo, yo, stop this guy. He's gonna grip. No. <laughs> He's supposed to get jailed. I'm supposed to get jailed, not gripped. Okay, mission number one. I need to get. J hey, what the hell? Uh, I thought there was an NPC stuck in the well, but mission number one, I need to, I need to get jailed, right? So I need to pick out some Marines. Let me go. Hey, I just, civilian, I just killed your buddy. Actually, I'm going to give him a fight. Dude, <laughs> you left me to die. Dude, I'm about to die. Okay, I can't. All right, so now I'm jailed, right? All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go uh, show you guys level. This is level two of uh, jailing the mining. <laughs> Be kind and predict the moon. All right, dude, I'm at the I'm at the mining camp. I'm coming. All right, since my bro's a marine, the the door won't open for me. But you know, what I'm saying the main door. 
what am I saying? Since I'm not a marine, right? The main door won't open for me, but you can obviously just get over it. Uh, not this door, right? The uh, the other door. Yeah, you don't mind it. Yeah, yeah. Now that main door over there, we're at like the, a marine base, right? That door over there won't open for me, basically, right? Um, it only opens to marine. But you want to show them the marine, uh, marine ranking system? Uh, yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right. All right, we're gonna go join the marines, boys. My life of uh, my life of being a uh, civilian is over. <laughs> What's this guy looking at? All right, talk to this dude. That's on list. Do I have to? Uh, you don't have to. All right, all right so Maybe basically, you talk to this guy to enlist, right? And then let's go upstairs. Now, only to a certain rank, right? You guys like the marine building, you know. Oh, by the way, uh, we forgot to tell you guys, everything in Real Seas, we kind of focus in on interiors, right? Every building, everything um, you play in, we're, we're heavily focused on interiors because in our previous games, we never really focused on interiors. And then you talk to this guy, to, um, but I talk to a guy. My bad. Yeah, I'm going to get canceled for misgendering, dude. All right, you talk to this person, right? Um... To rank up right and only to a certain rank you can enlist like over here and then from there you have to go to the world government right and you have to prove yourself to the world government aka the real government you know what i'm saying aka me you know what i'm saying to achieve admiral admiral slash the government behind this game right and i'm gonna be very corrupted and i'm gonna hunt you guys all you pirates out there i'm gonna hunt you and i'm gonna steal your loot and i'm gonna make your i'm gonna send you to impel down and i'm gonna torture you while you're in prison all right <laughs> we're also we're also gonna set up a group like an open group so it's like it's gonna be an open community thing where uh me and some of the rels we're gonna manage like a um marine faction so that's gonna be interesting all right um what else uh do you want to show them do you want to show them some devil fruit pals or should we just nah, save that for the second nah, movie that's 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 movie two that's movie two uh the song is seconds is nice <laughs> okay <laughs> huh. I'm sorry. All right, so uh, I think we made it to the end of the video. I, I think there's a lot more to showcase, but we're gonna do that for movie two. Um, um, this is gonna be a short little clip at the end if you stick around, a little like teaser of what's coming in the next movie as well. We'll talk about that. Uh, it's been a it's been a crazy experience developing this game. Uh, the quality over quantity, the quality on this game is fantastic. I I love. Like how the game started from first and it came this far and it's still going that's the best part so uh, that's that's pretty much it uh yeah. you have anything to say the tester spots are very limited i want you guys to heavily know that it's very limited right it's going to go in waves and we're going to bring in small amounts of people to test the game because number one there's a lot in this game and we don't want anyone leaking it um uh, because we already had one leak already, and that leak was supposed to be like, we're going to put it in this movie, right? But it was so demotivating to want to put it because everyone already saw it, right? So instead, if you bought gold or silver in the Discord, that funds, a majority of that funds, we're going to reuse that to reinvest in Railseas. Now, we don't need funds to invest in Railseas. We've been doing it out of our own pockets, and we don't, we're not asking for any funds, but if you're wondering, if you do subscribe all that fun is going right back into Relsies, either in music either in animation almost anything to make sure this game is at the highest quality that we can produce it at um obviously without you know trying to like destroy people's devices and etc um here is a good news if you're subscribed to gold and silver on discord now you might not get the initial testing phase where it's like the bug where people are actually fixing bugs right you might not even get in that, but if you're gold and silver, uh, you're going to be able to get the game like access testing. Like we're going to have open testing, massive open test testing periods, right? And it's only for gold and silver members. That is something that you should look forward to, even if you're not invited as a tester. I see a ship from a distance. You want to see it? Yeah. I have to turn this fucking ship around,
Do, uh, do you want me to show the reality, the interior, or not? No? No. Uh, I'll just edit that. Uh, I'm gonna sail by you. I'll do a drive by. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, by the way, islands are not gonna be this close. We're just testing them. That's all. <laughs> So you're just gonna just float with Kaido on your ship? Oh man. I don't think there's no way to see anything. The ship movement <laughs> is perfect. Oh man, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, if, if you guys want to make ship, uh, the ship, spa like the island spacing, they're not this close to each other. We're just testing uh, so we can get to places fast. <laughs> <laughs> 